What is going on guys, it is the Project Craft here, back with episode 11 of Formula 1 2023 career mode. Today we are racing in Qatar, a track that I have never done before. I've done a few practice laps yesterday in time trial, three of them. Uh, decided that I couldn't be asked to do it anymore and that we were just going to take it as it comes today. It is a sprint weekend, so a little bit of a longer video potentially. Uh, we got, where are you going mate? He's off. Uh, so potentially it's going to be a good weekend, so without further ado, let's jump straight in to the first practice session. Right, let's see what we've got here. We've got a track acclimatization, a fuel management and a race strategy program. We're going to be logging some extra data during this session. Nothing you need to worry about, but as we have some new parts on the car, we'll just confirm they're performing to spec. No worries, Jeff. So we'll go straight out for a track acclimatization program. Wait, what's the race strategy? Medium. Okay. So, let's do it. There'll be a lack of rubber out on track, so take it easy for the first couple of laps. So, this is going to be about learning the circuit as we go. I've never driven it in anger, as to say, in a racing sort of situation. I've no idea where the best places to overtake are, how good I'm going to be in qualifying or anything like this. So, it is going to be quite an interesting, uh, interesting race. Doesn't feel great on the hard compound tyre, that's for sure. What sort of car setup are we running? More balanced. So we've changed our car setup here. Anyone else going out to set a lap? Yes, yeah, Sergio Perez on the mediums. Going for quite an aggressive uh, strategy here. Setup, sorry. Lots of downforce in my setup. We've got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can take you through the numbers. So it didn't feel that bad. That new um, that new setup I've got makes the car actually feel really, really okay, good. I've got so much downforce, it's unreal. It's now just going to be about getting the optimal lines through the corners. The front end goes wherever I want it. The back end follows, but I have a lot of slip out of the corners. It is killing the front tyres, you can see that's after my race strategy program. So I am absolutely mutilating the tyres. Uh, with the amount, just the, the sheer speed I can go through some of these corners. But, the car feels absolutely amazing. Uh, compared to how it felt last race in Monza, when I had no confidence under the car, in the car under high speed, I feel like I can just throw this car into the corners. And it's just going to take what I give it, which is amazing. I actually feel like there's a hell of a lot more speed in it than I can give. So, it feels really good. I'm really pleased with this. We're going to go out on a set of soft tyres. And see how we get on. And then go straight into qualifying for the sprint weekend. Right, let's see what we can do in Fury on a set of soft tyres. We don't have a qualifying pace programme, so I've just put low fuel in the car. See what we can do on a set of softs. Not bad. I think we can go a hell of a lot quicker than that too. So, let's see where we're at at the end of practice. The session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Jackson. Russell and Pierre Gasly. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly for more Formula One action. Right, let's get straight out there and see what we can get done. Yeah, the car feels amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So at the end of qualifying one, it is myself, P1, George Russell, P2, Charles Leclerc, P3. Seven tenths to George Russell in second, and that's not even my best lap. Nothing's changed from last race to this, the difficulty is the exact same. Maybe it'll be closer as we're coming into the final two qualifying sessions. And the car feels like it is absolutely on rails. I've probably never had so much confidence in the car. But I don't want to jinx it too early. But I think it is going to be an exceptional weekend of Formula 1 racing from my part. So stay tuned. 
as we head in to qualifying two. One twenty point eight. We're getting even quicker. So at the end of qualifying two, it is myself P one, George Russell P two, Carlos Sainz P three. One point three seconds to George. I'm just getting even quicker. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say other than this setup is unbelievable for the car. Unbelievable. I think it's going to be an easy, easy pole position. Let's get it. Well, we have a sensor fault straight away in Q3, so that's not great. One twenty point five. I think we will leave it there. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who'll be fronting the grid. Jackson, Russell, and Carlos Sainz. Goodbye for now then, but really we're just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Forget pit stops, forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Jackson lines up on pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Sainz, Verstappen, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Norris, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Joe, Magnussen, Stroll, Albon, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Ricardo, and Logan Sargent. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We'll soon find out. Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for today's race. The last few races have been a bit rough for them. Unable to get a clean run, that's got to have some effect on their confidence, surely. Certainly confidence is an important factor. And every time you're involved in an incident, it's not just the car you damage, but that confidence as well. But all the top racing drivers are able to tune that out when the race gets underway and focus on the job at hand. Right, let's crack on. Okay, we've got that relief of having points on the board finally, so let's keep that form up and get another top 10 finish today, please. Okay, we're monitoring some wear on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. The last thing I want is to spin out of this sprint race on the last lap like I did with the last one. Keep your concentration and let's bring it home.
done, mate. Well done. That's a great finish. You've really stepped up and achieved what we asked you to do today. So good job. So let's review the updated driver standings. Well, not the result our points leader would have wanted, but it certainly makes things interesting going forward. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, goodbye. Welcome to Qatar. And hello from the desert rain. Well, there's not been much rainfall, but it's concentrated right here and just in time for the Qatar Grand Prix. We're back here in LaSalle for a track that's 3.34 miles long. There are 16 turns around its unique three-pronged shape and just a single DRS zone out of turn 16. It's fast and it's flowing and there's a good overtaking opportunity with DRS down the long straight and into turn one. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Jackson lines up on pole position. And the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz, completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Ocon, Perez, Oscar Piastri, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Joe, Gasly, Magnussen, Stroll, Bottas, Albon, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Ricardo, Sargent, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. And joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Jackson. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. Should we try the two-stop? It's a risk. It's a big risk. The two-stop strategy. It could make for an interesting race. Okay, the one-stop has seemed actually like the approach to go, so we changed it before we started. Not as good as the starts I usually get. Probably because we're starting on the harder compound attire.
teammate status. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 23.8 seconds. Okay, they're on old hard tyres. They're in 11. Their last lap time was a 124.6. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friend. Well done. And that's the chequered flag. What an effort from the team here in Qatar. And a fully, fully deserved victory too. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners. So let's review the driver's standings. The gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Jackson. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport action. But with more races lined up, 
be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. And that will do it for this episode of Formula One 2023 Career Mode Episode 11. What a race, ladies and gentlemen. Qatar, a track that I've never raced at before, turned out probably to be one of my strongest tracks ever. Uh, incredible performance out of the car. Um, it felt like it was absolutely on rails with that setup. Uh, I've got to remember that setup for next time I race around here in F124 because that was just incredible. Only four more rounds to go. And next is the Texas Grand Prix. USGP, not one of my best circuits, actually. I struggle, uh, especially around the first sector here. So it's going to be interesting to see how we get on there. But thank you for tuning in. I've been the Prodigy Craft. And like always, peace out.